Once the simulation is finished, data is available in the solver as well as in the monitors. This is indicated by the small red square added to the object's icon. When the object is selected, the list of data available in the object is shown in the result view window. You can right click on the desired data and select visualize, then new visualizer to plot the data in a new visualizer window. For instance, we can plot the field distribution around our nanoparticle from the monitor field XY and use the slider to select the frequency or wavelength. We can also plot the data by right clicking on the monitor itself. For example, let's plot the flux data from the monitor SCAT. In this plot, sigma front corresponds to the amount of power going outward through the monitor's surface, which represents the scattering cross-section of the particle. On the other hand, sigma back represents the absorption cross-section of the particle. You can also access and post-process data using script commands. Here we use a script file to plot the mu efficiency, which is defined as the ratio of scattering or absorption cross-section and the geometrical area of the particle, and compare it to the theory. We can also compare these results to the case without the mesh constraint object. You can see that using the mesh constraint has improved the accuracy of the results.